Hello everybody, my name is Yazui, and in preparation for the up and coming airborne expansion, I'll be teaching you how to build a quick and easy biplane. But to make things easier for you guys, I'll be splitting up this tutorial into three main parts, that being the main body and frame of the plane, the tail and tail wings, and finally the wings and landing gear. But before we start guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one, and with all that out of the way, let's start building. Okay guys, for the first part of this build, we are going to need a seat, so go into your seats and grab yourself the motorcycle seat. The reason we are using the motorcycle seat guys is because it is actually 3 across instead of 4 which will benefit our build in many ways. Go into your frames and grab yourself the 1x4 block, connect them underneath the motorcycle seat, and then what you want to do guys is just copy and paste this block like so on each side. Then guys, go into your propulsion and grab yourself a mini thruster. Just place it like this for now. Don't worry about it not being connected. All you have to do is copy and paste and then select both of the ones at the front here and make sure they're copy and pasted to the rear. So you should have something like this guys. The reason we're using mini thrusters inside the build is because the propeller won't be enough strength to pull our plane into the sky. So these mini thrusters will be giving us a nice speed boost. Then guys, go into your aerodynamics, find yourself the 2x4 rounded, and then just copy them onto the, each side of the mini thrusters like this, so the mini thrusters are nicely hidden inside of the build. Then guys, grab yourself a 1x4, add one here, copy and paste, and add one here. Go into your frames, grab yourself a 1x2 block, add one here, and then do the same on the other side here. Go back into your aerodynamics, grab yourself the rounded 1x2, and then connect one here, copy and paste the other side, and then select them both guys, and then just copy them to the ends of the build here. So guys, you should end up with something like this, where the back side of the frame here is nice and smooth. However, at the front here, it's only smooth here, and then these are sticking out here. And the main reason is guys, is because we're actually wanting to add a window here. Okay guys, to make the window, grab yourself the wedge piece, which is the two by one by two piece. Make sure you add it to the middle like this. And then what you wanna do guys, is find the wedge corner piece. It should be the two by two by one. And then just connect them to each side of the main wedge. And then you should have something like this, which will be your main window. And then guys, what you want to do is grab the 3 by one and place it here. Okay guys, now what you want to do is go into your propulsion and then now we need to add the propeller. So grab the propeller piece, rotate it to the middle like this, and you just want it connected like this on the front. And then the final thing we need to do guys is make sure everything is configured. So I'm actually playing on Xbox. So what I need to do is change this from A to RT because this is my preferred controls. Make sure you do the same for the mini thrusters as well, guys. Okay, guys, once everything is built and configured properly, you should have something like this. Okay, guys, it's now time to build the tail. What you want to do is actually grab yourself a 1x3 block, add it to the back of the build like so, and then grab yourself another 1x2 rounded, and just stick one here and copy and paste another one alongside like this. Grab yourself a single 1x2 block, place it underneath the 1x3, and then guys, go into your aerodynamics and grab yourself 2x1 wedges, and then just connect them to the build like so. Now guys, after you have built all that, now we need to add the tail fin. So go into your lift and drag, and then grab yourself the simple tail fin. And then you just want to connect it to the build like this. And then guys, to fill in some space here, grab yourself a tail light. Now guys, we're going to be working on the tail wing, so go into your mechanical pieces, and grab yourself a steering hinge. Place one here. And then find yourself this piece here, which is the 2x1 rounded. 
Once we have placed that block guys, go into your lift and drag and this is where we're going to add our first modular wing, which is going to be the small modular wing. We're going to place it here like this, grab a 1x2 wedge, flip them upside down and place them here. Now you might notice how these blocks are not connected. To fix that problem, we're going into the blocks and actually finding a shield piece. Grab yourself the 2x2 two two shield piece and place it in the middle like this. And you should have your first tail fin. All there's left to do guys is to copy and paste everything to the other side. So I'm going to be doing that now. And guys, the final thing we need to do is again configure these hinges. Awesome. Alright guys, once everything's complete, you should have something like this. Okay guys, now it's time for the final part of this tutorial, which is going to be the wings and a landing gear. So pay attention, because this can get quite tricky. Okay guys, to start the wings, we are going to need a 1x4. And then what you're going to do guys is grab yourself a 1x2 block and add it to the front of the 1x4 like so. Then guys copy and paste the 1x2 block, rotate it and stick it on the end of the 1x4 like this and grab yourself the rounded 2x1. You should have a small frame like this. Now guys we need to add our small modular wings. Okay guys for the modular wings stick one inside the frame like so. It should fit nice and snugly inside the frame. And then what you want to do, guys, is copy and paste like this. Copy and paste again. But here we're actually going to rotate this modular wing here so it looks like this. So we have the first side of our wing complete. The reason I've left the space here, guys, is because we can add some weapons. Grab yourself a tiny cannon. Stick on here and copy and paste until you have two like this. Select the whole entire wing and then just simply copy and paste the whole thing to the other side like so. Now that we have the bottom wing built, we need to build the top wing. So first guys, go into your tubes and find yourself the 1x4 tube and then just connect them to your wings like this. Do the same on the other side and then this is going to be the frame that holds your wings to the plane. On top of the tubes, grab yourself another rounded 2x1 and then stick them on top like so. Do the same on the other side. Now guys, go back into your lift and drag and now we're going to actually need the big modular wing. So grab one of those and then you wanna just simply stick them onto the sides of these rounded pieces like so. Make sure you do the same on the other side. And then you might notice this gap here, just simply copy and paste the rounded two by one three times over the window. And then you should have a shape like this. And to finalize this, guys, just grab yourself a two by one piece, rotate like so, copy and paste the other side, and you have like a nice gap here for your character to actually jump out of the plane easily without banging in his head. Okay, so now, guys, we are going to be copying and pasting the small modular wings here. Just bring them up like so, and then do the same for the other side. And you will notice that these two modular wings on the back here, they are not connected. It's actually because we need to make them move in order for our roll to work on our plane. So go ahead and grab yourself a steering hinge. And you just want to add the steering hinge in between the block like this. It won't be connected yet, but to fix that problem, what we're going to actually be doing is grabbing a two by one shield piece, connecting it to the top like this, and then going underneath, copy and pasting, and rotating the block like so. I'll actually just give this a quick color code for you guys so you can actually see in detail how I've connected the shield pieces. Now we need to do the same for the other sides. So just copy and paste everything to the other side of your plane. Okay guys, once you've copy and pasted the hinges and shield pieces over to the other side of the wing, it should look like this. 
And all we need to do now guys is add some landing gear. So just go into your mechanical pieces, grab the straight suspension, and all you want to do is connect it underneath like this, making sure the bottom connector is rotated outwards like this. Do the same on the other side, and then finally grab yourself the go-kart wheel, connect it like this, and there you have it guys. All you have to do guys is make sure your hinges here and your weapons here are configured to the keybinds you prefer. And guys, you want to make sure when you've configured your hinges that when you turn, it should look something like this. Now it's time to give it a quick test flight. As you can see, this plane is very smooth, very easy to handle, and it looks very nice as well. This plane actually flies like a dream. I'm really impressed the way this plane has turned out. Okay guys, so now that the plane is finally finished, there is one last thing to do, which is actually give the plane a nice paint job and add some decals. And here you have it guys, I have fully finished my plane, I gave it a nice paint job using the decals here, and I added a few extra details. If you look closely, I've used pipe hinges on the front of the nose here, it just makes it look like the plane has some exhausts. And at the back here, if you look closely, I've used a tube piece and some mirror pieces to make some smaller wheels. Yeah, so this plane flies amazingly. I'm really impressed with the way this plane has turned out. It's a pretty impressive little biplane. It's pretty fast as well. I'm like topping 97, 98 miles per hour here. It flies amazing and to top it off, it just looks amazing as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and it wasn't too complicated to follow along to. And if you like what you see and want to see more tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And guys, if you have any suggestions for any more tutorials in the future, please leave a comment down below. I have been Yazui. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my own channel where I upload multiplayer gameplay of Trailmakers and my very own tutorials. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.